Hello and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And welcome back, guys, to our Stories and Fables unit. Now, yes, it's time for part two of our story. Henny Penny, and so far, poor Henny Penny, the nervous chicken, she's had quite a shock. Yes, she thought the sky was about to fall and、uh, the world was going to end,、uh, and so she's going to tell the king about it. Right, it's so dangerous. So she is on her way to tell the king and warn him and everyone about this great danger. Except there's one big problem with this whole plan, isn't there?、Mm, I think so. One big so, problem. It seems like there's actually no danger. no danger. The sky's probably not falling. Not falling. And the world probably wasn't going to end. Not going to end. So I think she made a mistake. Yeah, she made a big old mistake. Poor Henny Penny. She was just hanging around the farm when an acorn hit her on the、Ow. head. That's it. But being a silly chicken, she thought that this was the beginning of a terrible disaster. And first, it's an acorn, but soon the whole sky would come crashing down, killing everyone. Except, yeah, none of that. None of that is true. It was just one acorn that fell down from a tree and happened to, you know. Hit her on the head. That's all. Ugh, Henny Penny was so sure that she started off on a long journey to tell the king to get some help. So along the way, at the end of yesterday's story, she meets another farm animal, Cocky Locky, who's a rooster or a male chicken. Yeah, and instead of asking Henny Penny to carefully explain this danger and this big problem. No, Cocky Locky. He just decided, "Oh,、well, I'll go with you." He really should have checked to see that what Henny Penny was saying about all this was really true. But unfortunately, he didn't. So now there are two of them who are sure that the sky is falling and terrible things are about to happen. Except they aren't. <sighs> so let's start reading today's part of the story to see what these two confused chickens get up to today. But before that, let's take a look at all of today's new vocabulary right now. 故事的第二天 ，Henny Penny 遇到许多新朋友，不知道他们会发生什么有趣的事呢？我们来看几个单字。第一个是 character。Character, 角色是个名词 The main character of this movie is very brave. The main character of this movie is very brave. 这部电影的主角非常勇敢。第二个单词 narrow, narrow, 狭窄的是个形容词 This hallway is too narrow. I'll walk first. This hallway is too narrow. I'll walk first. 这个走廊太窄了，我先走吧。第三个单词 hole hole 洞是个名词。Watch out for the hole in the ground. Watch out for the hole in the ground. 小心地上的洞。最后一个单词 entrance entrance 入口是个名词。The entrance sign is on the left. The entrance sign is on the left. 入口标志在左边。好了，我们看完单词例句，一起来看课文吧。During her journey, Penny Penny repeated the same conversation with other characters. Ducky Daddles came next. After that, it was Goosey Pussy, and then it was Turkey Lurkey. The group walked and walked. Explanation one. All right, so Henny Penny and Cocky Locky are on their way to tell the king about a great danger that really isn't a great danger at all. They think it is, but it isn't. And as we start reading today, we discover that soon they had other animals joining them.、Ooh. As it says right at the top, during their journey, Henny Penny repeated the same conversation 
with other characters. During the journey, 没错，我们在这边加一个补充，但是 journey 就是旅程、旅行的意思。在这个 journey 当中 ，Penny Penny 还不断的跟其他的朋友一直讲一样的话，非常危险，天要塌下来了。Uh oh, so she keeps repeating this. Fake news, and so some other animals might start to believe that the danger she is telling them about is real, just like Cocky Locky did. Yes. And since this danger is not real, that could create a problem. Yeah, it sounds like it could be a big problem. So, who did they meet next? Well, it says Ducky Daddles came next. Okay, so that would be a duck,、mm -hmm. and this duck also decided to join them. Yeah, and then we read after that it was Goosey Pussy, and then it was Turkey Lurkey. <laughs> wow! So she's gathering quite a large group of silly and confused animals, and they are all going along with Henny Penny. <laughs> For some reason, none of them is asking to know more about the supposed danger that Henny Penny was talking about. Everybody's just happy to go along. Yeah, right. And they're all off on a mission to nowhere, since the danger that they are sure is coming really isn't coming. There's no danger at all. But well. There they go. Exactly. So as we reach the break, we read the group walked and walked. Oh, what a flock of confused birds and confused animals!、Mm. 一路上遇到的动物似乎没有搞清楚发生什么事，就傻傻的跟着 Henny Penny 走了。Flock 可以用来形容一群，比方说羊群、鸟群等等动物群。Yes, a flock of confused birds. Well said. All right. Well, it looks like this is a good place for us to take a quick break. So let's go do that, and then we'll come back to find out what happens to Henny Penny and her confused bird brain friends. Danger.、Mm. Before long, they met Foxy Woxy. He said they were going the wrong way. When he offered to show them the right way. They were only too glad to follow. Foxy Woxy led them to a dark, narrow hole. It was the entrance to his home. However, he told the group, "This is the shortcut to the king's castle. Follow me." Explanation two. All right, so Henny Penny and the other birds—they're all heading to the king to tell him about a danger that isn't real. Henny Penny thinks it's real, but it's not, and the other birds are just following her. They haven't asked why they are doing this, and no one really seems to care. They're all on a foolish mission for no good reason. Well, so far it hasn't really become a problem.、True. They believe that there's some fake news going on, and they're just walking around telling people about it. I mean, they all believe in it, even though it's probably a lie. But it's not too big of a problem yet. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but you're right. It's not a big problem. But that situation could change very soon. As we get back to the story we read, before long they met. Foxy Woxy. Ah, yeah. I see now that this could become a big problem. Oh, yeah. Henny Penny and her friends—they're mostly birds, right? Exactly.、Uh. We have a couple of chickens. We have a duck, a turkey, and a goose. All big birds that you might find on a farm. Oh, oh, oh! So these birds are very delicious, especially、mm. if you're a fox, an animal that loves to eat big birds that you'll find on a farm. Big delicious birds that you might find on a farm.、Oh. Yeah, this could turn out really badly. For the birds, and great for the fox. It could turn out really wonderfully for the fox. Absolutely, a big, big meal. So we'll find out what kind of help Foxy Woxy offers the birds right after we get back from a visit with Daphne, who has our first grammar point of the day for us. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 before long， 意思是不久后。Before 是时间介系词。意思是在点点点之前 ，long 是名词，意思是长时间。
，before long， 字面意思就是在长时间之前，也就是很快的，不久后，相当于 soon， 为时间副词片语。我们来看个例句 ，Marlene will be grown up before long. Marlene 很快就会长大成人。Okay, so Foxy Waxy has just met the group of birds as they are traveling to see the king. We hope that Foxy Waxy will help them, but since he is a fox and they are birds, or as a fox might call them, they are lunch. We aren't sure that Foxy Waxy will be their new best friend. Hmm. So what does the fox do? Back in the story we read, he said they were going the wrong way. Oh. Hmm. Is he being helpful? He could be trying to be helpful, or he could be not being helpful. We have to read on to learn more. It says when he offered to show them the right way, they were only too glad to follow. Uh oh.、Uh, I don't really like the sound of this, but we'll see where the fox is going to take them after we get back from our second grammar point break with Daphne. The second grammar point is somebody is only too glad to 加原形动词，意思是某人非常乐意做某事。Only two 是副词片语，意思是非常。Glad 是形容词，意思是乐意的。后方用不定词 to be 引出乐意做的事情。我们来看个例句 ：Camilla is only too glad to help you. Camilla 非常乐意帮助你。So, where is the helpful Foxy Waxy going to take Henny Penny and her friends? And I say it like this: helpful, because even though he's called helpful in the story, we're not sure he's really going to help them. So we remember that they wanted to go see the king、uh -huh. to warn him of danger.、Uh -huh. The danger wasn't real yet, but they thought they were doing the right thing.、Hmm, but their new friend Foxy Waxy, he's not really going to help them the way that they think.、So. The next sentence says Foxy Waxy led them to a dark, narrow hole. <gasps> Uh oh. So I don't think they're going to the king's castle, are they? No, I don't think this dark, narrow hole leads to the king's castle. And sure enough, this was not the way to the castle. Instead, we read. It was the entrance to his home. Ah,、well, oh, well, they're well. going to Foxy Waxy's house for lunch. And they are probably on the menu for today. They are going to be lunch. Oh dear, Henny Penny, what have you and your friends gotten yourselves into now? So of course, Foxy Waxy is very happy to lead this group of birds to their doom. But of course, he's keeping this a secret from them. So it says, however, he told the group. This is the shortcut to the king's castle. Follow me. Okay, 在这边加一个补充，但是 shortcut 就是捷径 ，short 就是短刻，是简或是切的意思。Shortcut 加起来就是捷径。真的能达到国王的城堡吗？当然不是喽。So he's no dummy. He knows exactly where he wants those birds, and they seem to be quite happy. To follow him there. No, Henny Penny, don't go in the dark hole.、Uh, I think it's probably too late for her.、Mike. I'm afraid you're probably right, Rainbow. Well, I'm sad to say though that that's all the time we have for you guys today. But if you can, please come back to join us for the third and final part of our story tomorrow. Until then. Maybe say a little prayer for Henny Penny and her friends. I think they're going to need it. We'll see you soon. Bye. Take care. Henny Penny. During her journey, Henny Penny repeated the same conversation with other characters. Ducky Daddles came next. After that, it was Goosey Pussy, and then it was Turkey Lurkey. The group walked and walked. Before long, they met 
Foxy Woxy. He said they were going the wrong way. When he offered to show them the right way, they were only too glad to follow. Foxy Woxy led them to a dark, narrow hole. It was the entrance to his home. However, he told the group, "This is the shortcut to the king's castle. Follow me." These animals are called wombats. They are native to Australia. Full-grown wombats are about one meter long and weigh between 25 and 30 kilograms. They are very cute and cuddly little marsupials. Marsupials are a kind of mammal like kangaroos or koalas. Wombats can be found in southeastern Australia and on the island of Tasmania. They live underground in burrows that they dig themselves. There are three species of wombats living in Australia. Even though they are small, wombats are tough. If they are threatened by an animal or person in the wild, they will bite, scratch, or even knock a person over. Don't worry. The ones here at the zoo are friendly because they are used to contact with humans. You can even hold them and pet them. They're pretty cute, so many people like to visit the wombat petting areas at Australian zoos. Here is more information. Digest. I can't go swimming yet. I'm still digesting my lunch. Cartilage. The outside of the ear is made of cartilage. Backwards. Kevin walked backwards toward the door. Stubby. Vicky's fingers are too stubby to play the piano. Incisor. We use incisors to cut our food. Dig. They are digging a tunnel. Prey. Owls hunt their prey at night. Predator. Lions are strong predators. Vermin. Flies and cockroaches are described as vermin. Burrow. There is a rabbit in the burrow. I hope you learned a lot today, and we look forward to teaching you again next time. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，同学们您都准备好没？好，一分钟计时开始。第一个单词呢，它可以用来表达角色，像是电影里面的角色啊，书里面的角色，我们可以用这个字表达叫做 character。character。She named her dog after a cartoon character。她用一个卡通人物的名字来帮狗狗取名字。第二个单词呢，是形容是狭窄的，很窄的，怎么说？叫做 narrow。Narrow. The alley is too narrow for cars to pass. 那条巷子太窄了，汽车过不了。第三单词是洞，洞穴那个洞叫做 hole. Hole. Their dog is digging a hole in the yard. 他们狗狗正在院子里面挖洞。那么第四个单词是入口，入口叫做 entrance， entrance。其实这个字就跟 enter 进入那个字有关。Okay， there's a lovely cafe near the main entrance of the park。公园主要的入口，也就是公园大门口，那附近有一间不错的小餐馆哦。好，不管怎么样，我们已经在一分钟之内复习完四个单词了，也造完例句了。同学们表现很棒哦，那我们下次见了，拜拜。See you next time.